Hello. Hello and welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt and I'm Izzy and today we are up north at Sizer Castle near Kendall. Uh, National Trust estate here certainly seems popular. As always, we're here to find out what it's like, if you should go and if it's worth the entry price. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out reviews all across the country and give you ideas of where to go on your next family day out. So are you excited to come here? Yeah, I'm excited to come here. I've never been here, so look forward to, you know, exploring. No, I think there's about 800 years of kind of history here. There's also a huge extensive grounds and formal gardens. So, ready to explore? Let's go. Standing in this courtyard, you can really see that this house or castle has evolved kind of over the years because you've got this very old looking kind of tower in the middle. You've then got kind of mullioned window building over here. You can see there's a definite divide. Over here, you've kind of got sash windows. It's a, a white sort of hodgepodge of, of different styles and building techniques. Yeah, I mean, it's quite cozy. It's yeah. all like higgledy piggledy and like oldy worldy. Yeah, we'll have to go inside. So we've just entered into the lower hall and it's very kind of dark and medieval looking. Big kind of fireplace and bean ceilings. So we just did like an introductory video uh, they've got in like a little cinema in one of the rooms just off the main hall and that's well worth doing. It kind of very quickly goes through the 800 years of the history of the house. So well worth doing that. So this dining room is seriously, seriously impressive. There is just this wood panelling everywhere and the ceiling is beautiful. This seems to be what I think they say is one of the finest uh, panel rooms in the country has ever been made and it is absolutely beautiful. It's very dark and kind of very old looking but very effective. Tight staircase up onto I think the third floor now. This place just keeps going and going. It's a bit of a maze I guess because it's been made in so many stages. What I love about this house is that it's still officially lived in by the family. They obviously live in a certain wing but it means you still got like their portraits sort of scattered around the house. All the furniture's kind of original. It's not just been recreated. So it's definitely more kind of real I guess. We've just walked into this banqueting hall and this must be one of the older bits. It looks really, really kind of medieval. This sort of gallery up the top, fireplace over in the corner, and they've got a big banqueting table in the centre. Oh gosh, this really does look ancient in comparison to some of the rest of the house. One thing to keep in mind is there are really tight staircases. So this is a 14th century spiral staircase, and it is very uneven and very steep. <laughs> at least it's well lit, at least yeah. you put a broom. I think there are alternative routes down kind of more normal staircases, but if you can do it, it makes it a bit more fun, doesn't it? Wow, I am not normally a fan of kind of rockeries. I tend to think of them as being a bit kind of 80s kind of aesthetic, but this one is really beautiful. Some lovely aces, loads of ferns coming through, hostas, geraniums, all these little pools scattered through everywhere. Kind of reminds me of that one at Wisley, if you've ever been to Wisley in Surrey, the RHS garden. Very similar in kind of style. Lots of little kind of pathways winding through. You have to hop over little streams. Really pretty. As we said before in the house, even in the garden, there are a lot of steps and stairs. So just keep that in mind. If you're not very good uh, with stairs and steps, it's probably not the place for you to come because they are absolutely everywhere. So that's our day over here at Sizer Castle. What did you think? Yeah, I think it was pretty good. I mean, it's quite a big place actually. And yeah. um, we think we managed to see quite a lot. Yeah, gardens are really extensive. The grounds, I think you can do kind of 
one and a half to maybe about three mile walks kind of around the grounds. So there's plenty to see and do here. What about the house? Yeah, I mean, obviously the house has got so much history. Um, yeah, that's why it's quite dark, as I said before, and you've got the medieval bit and the Tudory bit. And yeah. There's lots going on. When you go into the house, it's definitely worth turning right and going in that kind of little cinema. There's probably about a five, eight minute long video by the owner of the house um, just introducing the whole kind of history because it has got such a long history for kind of 800 years and that really just gives you a good summary so you kind of understand what's happened here because it's been quite an adventure for the family. Gardens, they were beautiful. Even at this time of year, it's kind of late April, really impressed with that kind of Japanese rock garden. Some of these formal kind of topiary gardens and stuff like that were really impressive. Really nice to have a stroll round. Um, cafe? Yeah, I mean, it's not massive. No, quite small, I would say, for a National Trust cafe. And we got there about half 11. And it was packed. <laughs> it was really busy. There was a big, big old queue. So I would say try and get in the cafe kind of either really early or after the lunchtime rush. That would be our advice. So all in all, a really good day here at Sizer Castle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.